This is a recording of Chick Corea's from an album called Alive, and this is the opening track, Green Dolphin Street, well-known jazz standard. This is one of my favorite Chick Corea solos. The depth of thought, the precision, the intricacy of the lines, the wonderful technique. So I had to learn it myself. This is something I've been working on off and on for a couple of months now, and it's about 75% complete. Today I decided to go through it for the first time at tempo. You can see I have the sheet music there. So what am I working on today? I say this is about 75% done because although I know most of the notes, I know all the notes and, and the rhythms, it's a, it's a matter of doing it at tempo and doing it accurately every time. So this is where I'm playing it for the first time with the recording at tempo. I'm listening for little errors or omissions, wrong notes, rhythms that might be a little bit off. And I'm making small adjustments in the moment and taking mental notes. If I play that upward scale run and it seems to end a little bit late, I'm not going to stop the track and start over today, but I am making a mental note of that. And then after playing it a few times with the recording at tempo, perhaps I'll go back and work on a few sections that were a little bit imprecise. And here I'm doing just that. I'm going to start reviewing a few sections that I thought were not completely smooth and didn't match the recording exactly. I slowed them down. Today it's without a metronome. Other days I might take a section with the metronome at a slower pace. And here I'm really being diligent to make sure I'm getting all the notes exactly right and trying to play them the way the way I want them to come across. Duplicating a little bit if I can, the sound Chick Corea produces on the piano. And you can hear I'm going over individual sections over and over again, trying to get that increased precision. It's an enjoyable part of a practice routine for me because I really get to think of the smaller details and hear those smaller details. One thing that's proven helpful for me and I think could be for other students is to think of the music as something objective, something outside of oneself. So it's not so much that one has to engage in self-criticism, if they get something wrong or play something a little bit off. It's more a process of noticing when something that you play is a little bit off or is a little bit different than what it should be. And then going back and playing it over and over again, sometimes at a pretty slow tempo, to try and add some precision to the music. Part of the joy of learning the solo for me too was working on the left hand part, transcribing it as accurately as I can, and then playing it accurately. And Chick Corea uses his left hand much differently than I would, and to be frank, much more skillfully. It's something I wanted to work on here. So again, going over and over particular sections, and it might be an eight bar section, and perhaps it's just the ending of it that's a little bit sluggish, not quite as bright, not quite as rhythmically locked in as the rest of it. So you have to go over it again and again with your ear carefully tuned into these minute details. If you have the right mindset, it's not drudgery, but it's something that can be really quite enjoyable, this process of matching what's on the recording and gleaning something from it that can be really quite valuable.
So I expect to be done with this transcription, happy with how it turns out and my ability to play it in a week and a half to two weeks. I'll likely record a final version of it and then move on.